Welcome everyone to EDAP 689, the internet for the P12 teacher. We also call this building a professional learning network. We'll get that name changed in the catalog probably next year. You can't change things in the catalog quickly at the University of Louisville. This class is all about you developing a professional learning network. It only lasts for five days. The first of those days we have lost due to the fact that you are still in school. I hope that uh, I have made some adjustments to the course that will make it easier for you to work within it. This course will be a very much a project-based learning experience for you. Every day we will be creating a new component to our professional learning network. So without further ado, let's take you through it and introduce myself to you. My name is Steven Swan. I will be your instructor. Um, you will have a very enjoyable class. The first thing that we need to decide upon is that we will start meeting at UofL from 9 to when you have completed each module each day. That means that we will meet, and yes, I said 9 a.m. I am changing it from 8 a.m. because who wants to be in a college classroom at 8 o'clock in the morning, especially after you spend an entire school year. So we will meet at 9 a.m. Um, each module is laid out for you here and I'm going to walk you through it here in just a second. Um, your syllabus is in place. It's over here on the left hand side in a link called strangely enough syllabus. Um, you will find all of my contact information there. I urge you, strongly urge you, to communicate with me through the use of text. Um, you will find that you will get an immediate response. Whereas if you use email, you will be one of hundreds that I get every single day. So I would strongly urge you to use text, especially in the very short time we have together. Um, th by the way, that text number is 502-457-2937. When you send me your first text, just put your name in there. And that way I'll put you in my contacts and I'll know who's trying to get a hold of me. So let's go through the Blackboard site. Let me show you its structure. Um, and that will be pretty much what we will do today with this email. I'm going to send you a second email video that will be the first class. In other words, we will walk through what we have to do for the first class. And the first thing we're going to do for that class is you're going to build your own piece of the internet called a wiki. We'll be using something called wiki spaces to do that. And you will have three things that you will put in that wiki space to begin with uh, that will be all about you. So let me show you what your blackboard space looks like um, and where everything is and then as I said I will follow this up with a second video that will be essentially the first class be Monday's class you ready so let me show you what we have here when you come into your course in blackboard this is the first thing you're going to be presented with in other words this is called the entry point in blackboard um, and what it does here is it gives you a video about what a PLN is. Now there are tons of these out there, but this one pretty much matches what we do in our course. So that's why I'm putting it here. Um, here's pretty much the course description. You'll find that this is all replicated, duplicated everywhere. Your syllabus, uh, live text, it's, it's everywhere. So you need to read these so you understand. Then also you understand that what we're doing is directly related to Teacher Standard 7 and the Kentucky Teacher Standards. Um, here's some information 
about how to um, use various aspects of Blackboard. If you are t looking at this course through a distance course lens, um, this is going to be very different. And I will send out a second, a third video um, that will basically be for you. Uh, and that video will show you how we use Collaborate in um, our distance learning classes. Here's catalog description. And then down here at the bottom, this is the link that takes you over to the course documents. But if you will notice, everything here is also mirrored over here on the left-hand side. So it's actually just as easy for you when you come in to jump to the various things that you need to get to from the left-hand side menu. Now, if I do click on that course documents link, it's going to take me to some important information about some of the tools that we will be using and how you can use them, especially Glogster. Here is a little video about what is a PLN, and here's where the meat of the matter lives right here. This is where your course modules live. This is the work for the course. So when I click on that, it opens it up and you can see we will do four modules building your PLN. The first module we're calling Who I Am. And in that module, it's going to ask you that you're going to be building a Voki, a Glogster, and you're going to be using uh, a, a tool called GoAnimate uh, to help us understand your journey and your philosophy. And as I said, I will show you how all this works. You can see that you are also expected to do some reading. Um, these readings are located inside each module. These are not hard. Um, as you can see, they're clearly identified as articles for module one. They are very short. And what we're asking you to do here is basically read this and synthesize it around the ideas of this first module, uh, which is all about building a professional learning network. So we have tools, we have articles. Um, don't worry about the wall wisher right now. We will get back to that. Underneath the tools for who I am, as you can see, this is all about the wiki spaces. Um, this is all about creating your avatar. As I said, we'll be using Voki. And then these are all about building your digital story. And we will be using a tool called GoAnimate, which is right here. Um, I love GoAnimate. I think you will too. It is an absolute blast of an uh, online tool. And with any of these tools, you're going to be given free access to them. And I would say to you that if you ever want to borrow them, feel free. We're also going to learn how to put a, a counter on our wiki space. We'll be using this thing right here. And we're going to be putting what's called a revolver globe, which basically will show you if people are looking at your wiki, where are they looking at it from? Kind of cool. So that's like the first one that we're going to do. And they all look very similar to this. They essentially have the tool that we're going to be playing with, whatever articles are related to what we are doing. Um, and then we use the wall wisher here as, as sort of the parking lot. Now you've had enough PD where you know what parking lots are all about. This is where you can leave, class, uh, leave messages, uh, questions, ideas for the good of the class. And each one of your modules has one of these. If you go in and look again, if you want to go into the course documents, you will find that the course modules are in here as well. Or you can just go straight in to the course modules. Either way. 
And so our first one that I will be sending you about is this one called Who I Am. Our second one is Who I Am Connected To. And this is all about microblogging. And we're going to um, work with um, Twitter as our micro, micro blogging application. And what we're going to find out is every single one of these things that we're going to be playing with, we can embed this into our wiki spaces. The idea is the wiki spaces then becomes your professional learning network. It becomes the single gathering place for all of your information. I'm going to show you an example of it here in just a second. Uh, the third module we'll be doing is called Who I Listen To, and this is all about RSS, Real Simple Syndication, and uh, we'll explain all that. The third module, a uh, fourth module, excuse me, that we'll be doing is social bookmarking and curation. Um, you'll get a choice here of either using Scoopit or Pinterest. You don't have to do both. You can have a choice. And then finally, your hat. Your hat will be basically all about uh, reflection on your part of the development and the processes and how you plan on using your PLN. Very straightforward. I hope you will find that this will be a very easy and interesting class for you. As I've said, I cannot stress enough that this class is all built around you. We will meet when we finally get together at 9 a.m. I will present basically ideas around what we're going to be working on for the day. You then will have the chance and the opportunity to work. If you want to remain in the class and continue working, you can. If you finish, you may get up and leave. If you need to have questions answered, if you need to have someone sit with you, you now have the opportunity for that. This class is built around your success. Your success in building a professional learning network that has value to you. At the same time, this class is not built around arbitrary time limits. You're an adult. You'll be treated as an adult in this class. And so if you are finished with all of your work and it is 12 o'clock, you may get up and leave. You do not stay there until 5 o'clock in the afternoon. That's kind of silly. But the expectation will be is that you will be doing this in a manner where you're getting it done each day. So... As I've said, this is your first in a series of emails with videos attached that you're going to be getting from me. This has been the introduction to your class. Uh, those of you who are taking the class through um, a distance learning lens, you receive a, another email that's going to basically introduce you to how we do that through something called Collaborate. Um, the collaborate uh, directions are built into the course, but I just want to make sure you understand how it works so that you can join us. This course can work the following. It can be a synchronous course. You can basically come into the class during the same time frame as everybody else, or it can be asynchronous because everything's already built and all you're basically doing is looking at it and figuring it out and creating. So again, Welcome to EDAP 689. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me. Um, as I said, the best way to get a hold of me, the quickest way to get a hold of me, is through text. Again, that text number is 502-457-2937. Looking forward to meeting, hearing, and working with all of you.